Let's learn Fusion 360 next. Hey everyone, welcome back to the corner. It's me, Jeff. Thanks for being here. Let's talk a little bit about all this stuff here behind me. Now, all this stuff was made by wonderful makers out there who had to model it all, okay? Including this, what I'm wearing, holding in my hand right now, this lightsaber. Now, in order to model all of this, there's different softwares out there. There's Blender, Tinkercad, Fusion, etc. But I mostly have been using Tinkercad and I kind of found it limiting. So I'm going to show you kind of my journey to figuring out Fusion 360. So check this out. I've been modeling with Tinkercad since I got my 3D printer. Actually, my first project was um, when I bought my printer, my wife actually asked, uh, what's it good for? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'll play around with it. Uh, the very next day, she broke her hairbrush handle. So I went into Tinkercad and I just basically modeled a hollow cylinder, printed it out and attached it to her hairbrush. And the rest you might say is history, but I've never um, gotten too deep into it. Like I've done some stuff um, by um, mostly remixing a few things and adding multiple parts to it. I found it basically uh, limited. So I wanted to learn a different CAD software. So there's several free CAD softwares if you Google it out there. Um, you got Fusion 360, SketchUp, um, Onshape, FreeCAD, OpenCAD, NanoCAD, Blender, all of those. Um, but most people, I think, from the 3D printing community and prop makers tend to veer towards Fusion 360. There's lots of resources out there. There is a ton of stuff. So I was watching YouTube and I do subscribe to uh, Punish Pros Academy and they had this video on how to model a 3D video course. So I said to myself, you know what? I think it's time. I will um, give this a whirl. So I went over to their website and it's really simple. You would just click onto it, add it to your card. It was only $15, and that's quite reasonable, I thought, for a course on how to make props as well as how to support a, a maker that I enjoy, and I enjoy watching their videos. Um, chapters include, they have project examples. It's about four hours of instructional video. It comes with... Um, in a zip file, once you add to your cart and complete your checkout, you're going to get a big zip file to download. Once you download it and extract it, it's going to come out with all these videos here. So basically, it starts with an introduction and how to install. And then you're basically, this is kind of getting uh, two, three, and four are basically getting used to the, um, the interface and understanding some of the basic functions five, six, seven, and eight. That would be more like your theory. And that gives you a whole bunch of different um, demonstrations on the tools to use and how they are used. And then it comes up with, you get three projects, a Hellboy Bullet, Lightsaber, and Noisy Cricket. Followed with example, and they give you a, a list of additional resources. So I installed Fusion and I had some of their videos going. And basically what I did was I kind of kept their videos in the corner, paused them as I went along, worked on my models. As you can see here, this is my completed Hellboy Bullet. Let me just get rid of these sketches. And as you can see, um, it does a good job. He um, builds funny. Um, he does make mistakes like we all do and he actually leaves the mistakes in the video and it's not like boom boom boom. Um, here you know it's not like a Martha or not Martha it's not like a, a Julia Child oven where you know here's your product you put it in and it's done right. No he goes through the steps and um, he's enjoyable to listen to. He does make mistakes and he shows you how to fix your mistakes. So he starts off with the basic projects, like this would be a very basic project where you're just basically doing some cylinders. And then um, this taper here, as well as um, 
for lack of a better word, that I call those ferals. But yeah, so he basically goes through, and this is a very basic project that he gets, and um, I will show you the results of that bullet right now. So as you can see, the example came out quite well. Um, I like the knurling. Uh, I'm excited. This was my first Fusion 360 project, and I learned quite a bit doing it. So uh, I'm ready for my next step. Out maybe. The next project the is the lightsaber. So again, this has a, a few bit. more, as you can see. There's several more components here. So instead of I'm just going to pause, Bill. But yeah, so this has a few more components to it. Um, and the beautiful thing about this is when you bring your canvas in, and then he basically works you through it one step at a time. So you get your handle, then you can build your sideways switch. All right. Then you go on to your body, and finally your admitter. And again, these projects are ongoing difficulties. They get a little bit more harder and harder as you carry along. But overall, by the time I got around to doing the lightsaber and getting up to this point, I was getting very comfortable with um, all the uh, sketching and inserting the shapes. So I found it very, very worthwhile. And I like this project because there was a lot of repetition with cylinders going all the way up it. So you got very used to the interface. And let's show you that now. So looking at the final product, as you can see, there's a lot more components to this and bodies than there was to the previous Hellboy bullet. Um, you get to add surface details a little bit more. It's four different body parts. You got the switch, the handle, the admitter, and the main body there. Bill used a rod to put them together. I simply just modeled some pegs and put them in. So it added a little bit of creativity that you could kind of do how you wanted to assemble it. And um, it allowed you to um, express your creativity a little bit. Now the final project or like your graduation project, I guess you would call it, would be the Noisy Cricket from Men in Black. Now this is quite a long project. Uh, I think the video is about an hour and 20 minutes. It took me a few evenings to sort of get this down. But again, you're breaking it all down into um, individual components. This main top body here, um, the hammer, the trigger, and the two grips on each side. As with the lightsaber project, the front of it was a large, basically several cylinders. Um, and again, you're getting used to how to work with that. And then the back, the hammer, was incorporating a moving part into it, which was a quite nice, because you'll want to know how to do that in the future. Um, the biggest pain in the butt was this funky pattern for the grips. That took a long time. But overall, I found this very rewarding and challenging at the same time. So let's look at the final product for this. So as we got more complex in these models, it's more of your creativity and your kind of look and how you sort of put the model together based on the reference images. Um, as you can see here, I have the hammer moving not quite as smoothly as I'd like it, so I'll have to go in and remodel it. The handles are also a little bit too thick, but overall as a first project, like, I thought it was amazing. And the cool thing is that you'll have these files, so you can always tweak them a little bit going into the future. Yeah, so hey, guys. So, like, that was awesome, right? I loved it, you know? Um, I found that um, Bill and Brittany's video from Punish Props was a great 
value for 15 bucks. It taught me a lot. Um, as I say, like making the noisy cricket here, this was a lot of creative freedom of looking at the reference issues, looking at the reference images, and then sort of just kind of modeling your own stuff. Like as you can see by the trigger here, I'm a little bit off. My grips are too wide, but that's okay because the whole thing is I've now modeled this. I have the files in Fusion that I can go back to and kind of um, adjust all the little things that I need to. And this was, as I say, my first full heavy project. The lightsaber was great. Here, let's look at this for a second. So the lightsaber here, um, this is like Luke's lightsaber. So you got the, um, the arrow buttons and the two buttons here, but there's also, um, there's several little other features on here that when I go back into this and I look at some high res images, I can kind of add to it. We know this is scale accurate because of the, um, the source material that we use to make this. So then it's just a matter of going around and tweaking it. So I found this so fulfilling to do this course. Um, it took me a while. As I said, there was four hours of video. It probably took me a good part of my week evenings, maybe a couple hours. Of, so say eight to 10 hours. So double that time to triple that time, eight to 12 hours, let's say to be fair, um, of just trying it, making a mistake, going back, looking, uh, rewinding the video a little bit, trying to figure it out. Um, personally, if I had one critique, it might be, I wouldn't mind having like a cheat sheet or an FAQ of all the, the commands that Bill was using. Um, but again, as you get more comfortable with the software, you'll start remembering it. So I, um, as I say, um, for 15 bucks for a four hour course on how to use Fusion 360, I thought it was great value. And I don't think I'm going to go back to Tinkercad, to be honest with you. I think I'm going to stick to Fusion because it's so much more powerful than Tinkercad. And I really like, um, as I say, this was, and this were rewarding to me. I really enjoyed doing stuff like this and I plan to do more modeling in the future. So, um, yeah, like <laughs> I thought this was cool. So if you found this video helpful, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're cruising through it for the first time and found this, if you're cruising through it at all, never mind just the first time, but you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel to grow and I can do some more cool videos like this. So until next time, now we're going to, instead of modding, we're going to be modeling. All right. Take care, guys.